What do you think, Catherine? Oh, it's wonderful. It reminds me of the south of France, the long dog, you know? Yes. Have you travelled much in France? No. Not at all. I've never been there. But I've seen pictures, and it's just as Mrs. Radcliffe describes it in Udolfo. Ah, Mrs. Radcliffe. <laughs> but I suppose you don't read novels. I read Udolfo straight through in two days, with my hair standing up on end the whole time. I often think there's more life and truth and feeling in a good novel than in a hundred dull sermons. Do you really believe that? Oh, go on. Don't wait for me. Why should you think I don't believe it? Because I think you like to tease me. And because the real world's different from the world in stories. Is it? Of course it is. I love to read Mrs. Radcliffe, but I don't think the real world's full of murders and abductions and ghosts with clanking chains and, and seductions and everything. Well, not in Fullerton, anyway. Perhaps not quite so many murders and abductions. The broken hearts, the trails, the long-held grudges, schemes of revenge, fear, hatred, and despair. Are they not part of all of our lives, even in Fullerton? I don't know. I'd like to think not. Well then, I hope your experience of life is the exception that proves the rule. Forgive me, Tilney, for interrupting your walk. I've no time to lose. Of course. You're expected. Mum. Come, let's walk on a little. That gentleman was a close acquaintance of ours. A very good friend. He was obliged to leave the country at short notice. He was able to make his farewells to me last evening. But he was no doubt anxious to say goodbye to my sister too before he left. I see. There is no reason why the matter should come up. But my sister and I would be very grateful if you did not mention to my father that we saw that gentleman here today. No, of course. Thank you. The monk reeled from the unholy sight. Receive this talisman, she replied. While you bear this, every door will fly open, and walls will melt away. It will procure you access tomorrow night to Antonia's bedchamber. Miss Morland. Nothing to be ashamed of. It's all God's creation. Come. 